Close to some nuts deep inside of the sweet walls. You ain't a real friend. I can see your flaws. You know it's standards, morals, principles, laws. Shit probably sound boring because nobody falls. You can be him, but he all in my DM. AM to PM, crying all on my VM. <laughs> Telling me his name, he just hit you when he free. Finesse you watch your chat and come and spin that shit on me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is India. If you didn't know, welcome or welcome back, whichever one. So up next, we have um, the Hodge twins. When did you know she was the one? I'm curious, when did you know she was the one? Because I've been with my man for 10 years and obviously I'm not the motherfucker one. I done had his kids, I done been loyal, I done been everything, y'all. I swear to God, I swear to God. Right hand on a Bible or is it left hand? It's one of them hands. On a Bible, I swear to God, y'all. I like, I like, and I'm done being an angel. I'm done being an angel. All 2019, I turned into a demon, okay? Now, I don't, I know, I know that don't sound good, but... These men make it turn to savages. These men make it turn to savages. And, I, and I'm done. And I'm done. So, I'm just curious. Just a little curious. When did you know she was the one? By Hodge Twins. Let's talk this again too. If you guys if you guys like Hodge Twins, make sure you are smashing the like button. You guys, only are they handsome, but they are hilarious. Hilarious. So, I have not reacted to this one. I have not watched it. Um, so, we're just going to get into it. If you guys like Hodge Twins, smash that like button. And run up that red one, okay? So, let's go. All that. They making big moves. Big moves. All 2019. Yeah. Give me some room. Happy New Year. Give me some more room. Yeah. Tired of this email. When did y'all know it was time to get the hell off me? Tired of the seat, man. When did y'all know it was time to get married? When? <sighs> yeah. They so damn fine. Keith and Kev, what's up? Currently watching y'all's S-H-I-T right now on Vimeo. Can't say it over here. There's little kids over here. Yeah, it's only $2.99 a month. It's damn near free. It's at harshtwins.tv. All right. Why not? S-H-I-T is funny and it's damn near free. It's a good point. Good it's a good slogan, man. Yeah. Because it is damn near free. It's only 10 cents a day. Yeah, but anyway, let me get to the point. When did y'all decide that marriage was for you? Or how did you know the women y'all are married to were the right ones for you? Right. Well, uh, you know how I knew, man? How did you know, man? You just know. Man. You just know. <laughs> no, this is not, a, it, it's, it's it's not a matter of... I just knew, man. Look here, man. You know how I knew, man? This is how I knew. My prior marriage, the divorce finally came through, and then I knew it was time. Man. Well, I didn't have the decision. My wife, as yeah. soon as the divorce papers got in, we went straight to the courthouse. So got, you married. got divorced. Got she, was, married. she was about to pop, man, having a little boy in her. She only had about a couple more weeks. The hell's up with this damn light, man? You got some poltergeist action going. Give me some damn room. Give me some damn. You didn't answer this question. And plus, we lived together for like three years, man. Look, we was already married. This is his We question. was common law, man. Basically, long, basically. See, but your three years compared to my ten, my ten, bro, my ten, my ten, my ten, my ten. I hope you understand why I'm mad. I hope you understand why I'm mad. Mm. Three to ten. Dude, she lived with the person for at least a year. All right, at least. Getting married to a person you never lived with, somebody you go see on the weekends or every other day, that ain't gonna cut it. You gotta actually live with that person about two, about one, at I least. You gotta know how they live, if they a messy person or they clean. Damn near three years before we got married. Not because I didn't want to, it's because my ex, she wasn't signing divorce papers. Get up. He's Had messy. to hire people to track her down and serve her. And you got a bounty hunter. That's how I knew, man. That's how I knew, man. You just know, hey, let me do some talking. It's a two-man show. This ain't harsh twin. It's harsh twins. You didn't even ask this question. Like this. Oh, really? What you mean ain't asked this question? I'm gonna read this question. You I lived like, my wife for oh, damn near three years before I knew. I just knew. You didn't ask how long you was with her before you got married. That's how I knew. How he asked us? How did we know? Let me. Read That's how I know, man. Right. We was already coming. God long. damn. We was coming long, man. Man, Kevin, we we look, been with each other for three years. Look, calm down, Kevin. Seriously, calm. You just know. Just calm down. Let me read this question. That's how I know, though. That's what I'm saying. I got I that. I was with her. I got that. For damn near two and a half, about three years. 
<laughs> but I was actually living with the damn woman. Damn damn about a year and a half, too. Hey, and she was pregnant. Hey, Kevin, you beating that dead horse. All right, At I get... that point, I knew. Look here. Hey, oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up, man. <laughs> Kevin, let me read the damn Read meeting. it. When did y'all decide that marriage was for you, or how did you know the women y'all are married to were the right ones for you? I already I, told you. Now, I'm going to say something. Say something, then. Hold on, I forgot the question. <laughs> when did y'all decide that marriage was for you, or how did you know the women y'all are married to were the right ones? Let me start with the first part of that question, because it's question A and question B. I'm going to go with question A. When did y'all decide that marriage was for you? When I got tired of sleeping with all these strange women, using unprotected sex, just... Just playing Russian roulette with my life. Playing Russian roulette with that nine when it fall off. And random women getting sucked off in cars. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, On a late night I, mean tip. I ain't do all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was getting sucked off. But when I was tired of that, I want to sit down and want to meet that special. Yeah. yeah. And when I knew After you done being a hoe. Part of, your question. part of your question. How I know my woman, my wife, was the right one, she treated me good. Treat me like a man. Listen. How you know that she was the one though, man? Everybody gets treated good. How you know? No. What you talking about? Everybody, everybody. Let me finish asking the question. Well, she question. treated me good. She made me feel like somebody. I was a security guard. She made me feel like I was, like I owned the security guard business. I was making five fifty an hour. Five fifty? Six dollars. Six fifty. Got a slave wage. <laughs> Got a raise. And plus, she wasn't a whore trying to. Sleep with all of these other random dudes I behind me. Did she live with her? For right, and that's the type that's supposed to be married. That's the type that's supposed to be married. Not the bitches that are out here hoeing around, sleeping with your friends. Sleeping with your friends. All that extra shit, running her mouth all up in these streets, in the club every weekend. But nah, I'm sitting here, going to school, taking care of my kids, cleaning this house that's not even my house, cooking for a man that I'm not even... I'm mad. I'm mad. So I had to know. How did y'all know she was the one? We lived together. How long? Man, we lived together damn near. Yeah. I told you, man. That's what I said. Plus, when I decided to do it, her stomach was round. I busted some nuts deep inside of them sweet walls. That's trifling. Yeah, that's how I know. You got some more to your email, but... They trifling. Um, I'm done. See, some people, some people, they don't live together, and they have the kid. They don't get actually get pregnant until after they've been married for several years or several months or several days. With us, we do things backwards. We live with the person. All right, shut up. Well, you already said that. You already said it. And by the time we live together, look, she was about to have a baby. I remember I got married, man. Damn baby came out like two he weeks later. All right, let's see. I don't even think it was two weeks. I think it was a couple of days later. He said, look, but hey, I've never been married. Y'all have, so I ask again. How did y'all know it was the time to You marry? already said that, man. And also, I believe y'all said y'all were married before. And yep. honestly, whether that's y'all second marriage or more. Yep, this is my second marriage. Now, it my takes... first marriage, I did everything the right way. We, we, we uh, did live together, right? We didn't actually move in again until we was married. Yeah. She didn't actually get pregnant until... It takes some balls to so get married. So does he have one thing, one or two? Yeah. Be but the one thing I was just anybody do, man, you got to live with the person for at least a year, man. Hey, man, and if you're going to, um, I'm telling you, you got to be a whore before you get married. You got to go out there and be a whore. got to get all those necks. No! Up out there. Oh, shit, you if you a chick, you I'm fucking done. I'm so, so done. He said you got to be a little bitty whore. You little bitty whore. <laughs> Tell you got to get a few things off your chest. Get a few things off your chest before you go on and marry a bitch, okay? Or a nigga, okay? Still not a whore, but these whores out here getting married. Like, no, I don't understand. You gotta at least go through at least a uh, at least one threesome. I mean, you just gotta, gotta have you know, dudes. Gotta to you gotta get double penetration to one in the butthole and one in the sweet one. I ain't sell that. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what, yeah. what, what you gonna put them on? Mouth and uh, no nah, butthole in the sweet walls. Matter of fact, do a foursome. One in the mouth. I wonder if they have one in the sweet walls. Anyway, 
You gotta get that hey, whore out of there. One in the mouth, one in the butt, one in the sweet walls, Kevin. one in each hand. And then one smacking you in the face. <laughs> Hey, that's it. Hey, the good horse twins. TV. It's only two ninety nine a month. It's damn near free. <laughs> they look high as hell. God, get that damn light out my face. There you go. Give me some room. What's up, everybody? Give me some more room. Everybody, everybody just got another email at askharshtwins at gmail.com. How am I looking? Oh. Me. Yeah. Tired of this email. Get the fuck off me. Fuck off me. <laughs> Tired. Come on, man. Tired of this email. Girlfriend says I'm lame in sex. What? Damn. Put more effort in. Smack that ass. Choke her. Let the bitch know. This girl's very successful. That's your pussy. What? This girl's successful in life. She don't put up with no bullshit. Yeah, yeah, she's not put up with no bullshit, no whack ass gig. It's affecting her life. She tastes better. Hey, you're not cutting it. Damn, your dick is not as hard as it should yeah, be. Yeah, you need it's to do that extra mile, This ain't working out, man. You need to go see Doc. Get you, get some dick pills or something. I need some stiffer penis inside of me. <laughs> Let me read the email. That's what's going on. Did you go into detail, man? Yeah, let me let me read the email. Hey, did you send a picture? No, I ain't sent no picture. I have a question. I'm 22 years old and I'm in my first serious relationship. <clears throat> first serious relationship, and your girl tell you you're lame in sex? Hey, I thought we was gonna do that video about the um... Shut up! I ain't doing that video. Why? We'll do it tomorrow. I like this one better. I like the other one better. Well, I like this one better. I like the other one better. We've been together. You know what it was about? No, no, you can't give it up. No, you gotta wait for that. Hold on. We've been together for about eight months and the sex is great. Recently during sex, she said she wanted me to come in her mouth. Yeah, that's <sighs> what every man wants to hear. Sounds like a keeper to me, man. Yeah, I told her no because I respect her and love her. And because I'm Muslim. Wow. I didn't know uh, Muslims oh. didn't like uh, blue jobs. Yeah. I didn't know that. Hey, you know what it says in the book of Christianity? What? That ain't right. Oh, that's sodomy, huh? Sodomy getting it's sucked off? You ain't supposed to do that. Yeah. Gonna burn in hell. Yeah, I don't care. I'm still gonna stick it in my mouth. That's what I want. Yeah, even in Christian Bible, that's considered that's sodomy. Yeah, even you burn in hell for that. You stick in the ass, you're gonna burn in hell. Stick in the mouth, you're gonna burn in hell. You go outside and just see a girl say, Man, I wanna penetrate that. Yeah. You going to hell. Yeah, because you're lusting for something other than your wife. That's a sin. That's a sin. I know you thought about this, so you still That's going to hell. Right. So you might as well get sucked off. Alright, let's get serious on this. <laughs> I ain't gonna touch your religion. But you, your religion. but you said you respect her and love her. I respect love respect my wife. I still be busting my nuts in her mouth. I still be she didn't say anything, but I felt like she was disappointed. She so I changed the subject. You damn right she, she disappointed, man. So I changed the subject. You damn right she But that's not sucking at sex because you didn't come in your bitch's mouth. I thought that was leading to something else, or maybe it did. This is uncensored and it was a sneak peek. Um, so you guys, let me know how you guys feel about that. Hosh twins is they are fucking hilarious. Hilarious. Um of course I will do more of them. Um so make sure you guys run up that um, like button and run up that red button, you guys. Um, like I said, like I said, some women, some women deserve to be married out here. But some of these women, they don't deserve shit. They don't deserve shit. And there's a lot of men that don't deserve a lot of shit either. So I don't know. I don't know. I guess we all find love at the right time. I don't know. I don't know. But. My feelings is not in my heart. All 2019, I'm done with it. Um, so, 
Let me know what y'all think about Hodgepodge. Smash it. Let